I've learned a cool new trick in Smart Notebook, and whenever I first saw it, I thought, ooh, that is really fancy. But upon further investigation, I realized, oh, it's very, very simple. And this is also something that you can do in any version of Smart Notebook. You do not have to have the latest version. You could have the first version, and this will still work. Here's what it is. I've got this page that says Spotlight. There's 18 words listed on the page, and we're going to try to find them all. I'm just going to move my Spotlight around, and there's one. It says Thickness. There's bushy, extended, and odd. I can change the shape of my spotlight so that it's small or big or whatever. But what I want to show you is how you can create one of these your own. Basically, this is just a page that has text that is the same color as the background. And here's how you'll do it. I'm going to open a new page. And I'm going to type in some words. I'm going to type in cow dog, cat, farm. Okay, so I've got my four words in there. White background, blue text. I'm going to change my background so it is the same color as the text by going to Format, Background Color, and the uh, picture or the color can be chosen over here, but I am going to be to make it simpler and I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool. And then I'm just going to come over here and find the color I'm looking for instead of trying to search through all of these different colors. Okay, now I've got blue, black, blue background, blue text. Now I need a shape. So since the circle is already highlighted, I'm just going to draw a circle in there. There it is. And I have to come back up here and click on the cursor to get the Move tool back. I want to fill my circle. So I'm going to click on it, and you can see over here on the side that my properties have already come up. If they didn't, what I would do is click on the arrow and go down to Properties. Since it did, I'm ready. And I want the fill effects. My outline is black, so I'm just going to fill it with black. Now, I'm going to move this around. Oh, it, you can't see anything. The reason why is because the text is behind that circle instead of above it. So I'm just going to change that. I'm going to click on this, click on the arrow, and go to order, and I want to send my shape to back. Now whenever I put up there, there's a word, there's another one, here's another one. So lots of different ways that you could use this. Maybe I've got questions I want my kids to answer, Lots of fun things. I could change my the shape of the spotlight. I could make it a rectangle, a square, anything I needed it to be. And that is how you can use the spotlight tool with any version of Smart Notebook.